Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today what we want to do is just do another presentation on deep memory. Just a quickie so you can see another way how deep memory can work for you and uh, if you don't have it, how you can work around it, okay? So we have this really cool Keysight scope. No deep memory, but we can show you with their cool signals here that they give in this educational version how to you know capture a glitch if you have a little glitch in a sine wave we're going to show you how to capture that okay and then we have a couple deep memory scopes that can do the same thing so you know looking at all three scopes together you know might help you out and especially if you're interested in any scopes uh, like this okay all right let's jump over here and take a look oh. hey guys and before we do that smash your like button subscribe Give me comments, give me ideas. I've got lots of videos in mind, but I want to listen to yours and let me know what you guys think about this, okay? So, thanks a lot. And by the way, there's a Patreon account and Amazon links for scopes or whatever else. All right? That all helps me. All those things. Thank you. Now, let's jump over, over here and take a look at this deep memory. All right, guys. So, this is kind of the setup here, all right? But I've got all these scope probes all tied into this demo output port, which is the same as the calibration port on this educational version, the EDUX 1002G here. Uh, really cool that it comes with all these signals, help, training signals, training glitch. We're going to look at this training glitch for this deep memory example, okay? We're going to start with the GWN stack and work our way back to this scope. All right, so we got everything tied here. We also have a Keithley tied in here. Now, one thing I want to point out right now, just remember this, guys. Let's get the measurement window on. See this 980 millivolts? Peak to peak, max, man. This is the one I'm looking at, 980. That's pretty close. I'm going to just give you, just tell you up front here, the the GWN stack is 975 and that agrees with the Keithley. They're right in line with each other. And the signal over here is saying 981. So the signal's a little bit higher than this, but the signal and the key side are really close to each other. But I think I gotta agree with the GWN stack because it agrees with the Keithley and and this low frequency. This is only at 31.2 hertz really slow frequency here see where it's at 20 milliseconds per division so this is slow frequency I think the Keithley can do a great job there okay and there is the Keithley meter 2015 it's an awesome meter and there's the frequency 31.25 Hertz very slow frequency and just to get another vote in the operation here we we'll use the Tektronix TX3 and it's at 975, 31.25. So it agrees with the GW and the Keithley. So these guys are off just a little bit. The Siglent and the, and the uh, Keysight are both off just a touch. Hey, the Greenlee wanted a volt. It says 973. So it's 2 millivolts lower than the, uh, than the other guys, but still still closer than the key site or the signal <laughs> uh oh the big guy in the block wanted to vote too I guess he agrees with Greenlee couple millivolts off well there we go 974 oh my heck Habble test says he can do it too and he agrees with GWN stack and Keith Lee yep look at that 975 nice display right Hey, here we go. I found one. 979. That's closer to Keith Lee. Siglant. x -Tech says he's a little bit more biased towards those guys. Finally found one. <laughs> okay, voting's closed. Okay, so now it's a training signal with a glitch. Okay, it's called the sign with glitch training signal. And I can see a little glitch, right, on top of each one of these waveforms. Again, dead on with the Keith Lee. So here, let's hit the zoom key. Okay, now first of all, let me show you what I did. See that trigger right there? What I did is it was triggered right here in the center, so it's triggering rise of crosses. What I did is I brought it up to that 
that glitch so that it would be right here in the center of the screen right on my trigger so then I could hit the zoom and that's how I did that I'm at 20 milliseconds per division on the big screen where you see all the cycles and I'm zoomed in at 2 microseconds so I'm zoomed in 10,000 times right 10,000 times 2 microseconds is 20 milliseconds so I'm zooming in 10,000 times and I can see this little peak-to-peak -peak 620 millivolt little glitch pretty cool huh see it right it's right in between those that, in that green box here I'll spread the green box out let me spread it out this way see how I've got the brackets here now this is what I'm capturing right the wave comes down and right as it's going up and there's the little glitch so I can just zoom right in and open that glitch right up okay so two microseconds 20 milliseconds let's remember that okay so this is an example where we want to see let's turn off the zoom where we want to see a number of cycles but then we see the glitch we want to zoom in on it okay let's go down to the siglent and take a look all right and then with the siglent 20 milliseconds per division same thing see the little glitch on each one and I've raised the uh, trigger level right up here to capture the glitch which puts it right underneath this arrow here right in the center of the screen all right so now I can hit the zoom button on this guy and it's set up a two microseconds zoom feature too you can see the kind of the white background and and the little dark center see if I open this up so if I open this up you can see how the dark spot here I hope you can see that in the screen and uh, and we see this part of the waveform so I'll just zero that in two microseconds two microseconds and we see the same thing we did on the uh, GWN stack and frequency agrees with the GWN stack the measurement here is a little bit on the low side it's 933 millivolt now if I turn off the zoom let's try that then it comes up to 981 which is closer to the GW975 so it's still a little bit on the high side or er, so the signal does very nice on the capturing that glitch zeroing right in on that little glitch right there let's go to the key site all right so now we're back at the key site 20 milliseconds and this is a training signal sign with glitch all right so we're back to this menu right here and 20 milliseconds per division so you know what I have a hard time seeing that glitch I really well actually I can't see it can you guys see it so this little trigger marker is right here in the center of the screen and if we bring this trigger up here right above the signal see it's it looks like it it's offset a little bit it's triggering on something right about there right where that glitch should be we can't see it but we know from the other scopes it's there if I come up it's just auto triggering it's not seeing anything if I bring the trigger down right above the sine wave it looks like it's I think it's triggering on it because it looks like it's locked in okay so let's hit the zoom feature and there's a little sliver right there we got captured and there's a little something going on right here let's open it up a little bit there's a little something right there thing is as you can see the little sawtooth it's just that we're missing that we don't have enough memory so let's back this 20 milliseconds off let's back that out and let's go to 10 milliseconds and now I can see a little bit of a glitch zoom back in on that and you can see the staircasing with a little bit of a glitch but when I zoom in like that you can kind of see there's something there but just not enough memory so Let's zoom out a little bit more. Try that again. Still not so good, right? So what you want to do is, at this point, I don't think you want to see a staircase. So let's zoom this this way, and you can start seeing it. The staircases are really small now. That's because we're capturing... We have more data points to capture. Now, if I zoom in this way, we saw what we saw in the other scopes. Bring the trigger level right there. 
right there in capture it. Now that looks like the cursors are turned on. So there's that. So now let's let's try zooming out again. Let's try at that point, see if we can use the zoom feature. There we go. Now we can, and even at this point, it's a little bit jaggy. So you can really see what deep memory does for you, right guys? But I think that's part of this lesson that they have in here is so you can learn how to capture these kind of uh, events. Makes it a little bit easier with the scope with deeper memory though, right? <laughs> that was quick, right? Well, anyway, so you kind of saw what we're doing. You know, there are some limitations without the deep memory, but we can still capture the signal. And we can still use the zoom feature to, you know, show some cool stuff. So, and you can see what deep memory does and how these different scopes work. So, I hope that was helpful. Thumbs up, you know, subscribe, all that good stuff. And remember the Patreon links and the Amazon links. Alright, thanks guys. See you next time.